everyone welcome back so in today's video i'm giving you a ton of cleaning motivation the house was a mess and i am going to also be doing some pressure washing with the rug we're going to be cleaning the bedrooms the bathrooms all the things so i hope you're ready for it So we're going to start this video in the kitchen, of course. We're going to clean up in here. We're going to do the dishes, all the things. I hope everybody's doing well. I absolutely love all the comments on the last video. Y'all are so sweet, so kind. Thank you for all the encouragement and thank you for all the suggestions, which I want to see, which I want to talk about, all the things. I'm going to be working on all those videos this next month, so I hope you're ready for that. Speaking of next month, oh my goodness, I cannot believe that we are already going to be out of January. I'm already having to plan February. That's crazy. It went by so, so fast. Just crazy fast. Let me know if you feel the same way. It's crazy to me. So anyway, I am going to be doing quite a bit in this video. We're going to be cleaning the kitchen, like I said, the living room, the dining room. We're also going to take the rug out of the living room and pressure wash it. It looks so, so much better. I just, uh, I love doing that. It just makes it look like a brand new rug and that really went well. So anyway gonna do that in this video and then we're going to also be cleaning the bedrooms we're gonna clean the bathrooms they were a mess we're gonna clean the boys room it was of course a mess and yeah I hope you all enjoy it like I said I hope it gives you tons of motivation if you're new here and you like videos like these then subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a video so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some music we're gonna finish washing these dishes real quick and keep on cleaning Look at your pearls hanging by my bedside Still got your lips on paper in a trash line I never knew love could be so sweet I never knew it would stay I never knew love like this would leave I'm just drying the dishes and putting them away if you're new here I do this I don't like anything on the counters once I'm done cleaning unless it's decor or something that just belongs there other than that I don't like to see dishes anywhere I just want it to feel clean I want it to look clean because it just makes me feel better and it makes me want to do it more when it's like almost like a staged home if you will the other day we had some or the other night we had some friends over we were doing like a poker night and one of my friends wanted pictures in my living room and we were talking about the channel and everything and she was talking about my living room and I was like I feel like it's so plain I haven't been able to really do anything with it I'm kind of blocked and it's just like empty to me and she was like what are you talking about empty this is like rooms to go 
<laughs> and we all just busted out laughing. But, like, honestly, I do have a hard time with, like, committing to a big change or, like, even adding some decor, like, some art and stuff. I really need to think about what I want to do in my living room because I have so many ideas. It's just I need to put it all on paper. I need to see where we're going with everything in there, what the couch is going to do, how much it's going to change the look of it, and see where I'm going to go from there. I am using the vinegar and uh, lemon peels for my cleaner, and I just mix that in some water, and uh, yeah, so that's what I'm using to clean the counters. It's already over Too late to talk and fix whatever's broken I always thought love like ours would last I never knew love could pass Tomorrow comes and you are not around Feels uneasy go ahead and tidy up here in the living room it was kind of messy not too bad just some pillows thrown around needed to tidy up the couch a little bit speaking of couch it's here it's outside I'll be putting that video up sometime very soon we have not got it in the house yet but I'm super excited to see how it looks I'm also very nervous but anyway because it's totally different from this I'm also I've got the tables out in the barn right now i want to get them all sanded and redone we are going with black on the bottom wood on the top just to change it up a little bit y'all are enjoying this video so far if you are then please subscribe hit the bell for notifications all the things i am just gonna finish vacuuming these floors really quick i have been loving using this vacuum i'm so glad i found the charger for it although like i said before the battery does not last as long it is so much stronger than the other ones that i use so this one has been the one i've been reaching for a lot of people ask me how many vacuums do you have and as of right now i have like maybe three i have two of the cordless and one that plugs in so not that many I don't think for having a cleaning channel I do review certain cleaning um, accessories and products and tools and things like that for y'all so I do get a few more vacuums than a normal person would but I do end up giving them to friends or family 
once I get a new one. So now I'm going to go ahead and roll this rug up. It needed to be pressure washed. It was absolutely horrible. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it out here. This has been a total fiasco. I wanted to get this all washed and cleaned before the couch got here. I wanted to get the tables all painted and done before the couch got here. And the weather in Texas has been so, so, so crazy. It's like being in a toxic relationship. One minute it's spring, the next minute it's winter. Then it's just, it's crazy. Like last night we had a little poker night again and we were going to do it in the barn. But then we all had, uh, some of my friends had their small kids with them. So I was like, okay, we'll just do it in the house or we'll do it on the porch. So that way the kids can be right there in the house playing. We'll sit outside on the porch and play poker. No, absolutely not. The guys got all the poker table and everything moved to the porch. And then we get some weird mist storm where it's like windy and cold and misting. They tried to put up a wall outside. My porch looks so ugly right now. But that didn't work, and I was like, okay, we're just going to play. So we played at the dining room table. It was a good time, but it was so loud trying to play with all the adults. You got to imagine, like, 12 people in this little house, and then plus, like, I don't know how many kids, a lot of kids running around. So it was just, it was very, it was a good time. It's always a good time. But for me, my like my friends know it's not something I keep hidden or anything. They know I'm an awkward person, especially when I'm not drinking. I'm just a quiet little awkward person. But um, we were laughing because I was so overstimulated with all the noise and the craziness going on. But it was still just such a great time. Um, but yeah, it, it was just crazy. The Texas weather has been crazy. So I have all these projects and I don't like to paint when it's raining. I don't like to do anything with paint when it's raining or there's moisture. I just, I can't stand to wait forever and ever for it to dry. So now it's all nice and sunny out. So hopefully tomorrow I can get out and start sanding the tables, getting those all ready to go. The drug, the rug, sorry, the, the rug is finally dry. Um, so that's good. I can go ahead and bring it in and bring the new couch in. It's just been crazy over here. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this room a little bit. I had to put a sweater on because like I said, during the day, like another thing, <laughs> the next video y'all see, you will see clothes strewed everywhere from here to there because I was trying like... In the morning, I'm in the house. I work out in the house. Uh, usually in the morning, I'll do my workout inside. And then in the evening, I'll go out and lift some weights or whatever. But so, okay, I got dressed that day. I put a sweater on. I put jeans on thinking it's going to be great. Around noon, I walk outside and I'm like, oh, it's summer again. So I'm wearing a sweater. I'm taking Instagram pictures and I'm in a sweater <laughs> and it's like 80 degrees outside. And then so I come in, I change. That night when we were supposed to play poker, I was in shorts and just a little like, you know, sweater type thing. It's just the weather is absolutely crazy here, guys. I can't stress it enough. Like when y'all see me and you see me all bundled up, sometimes it's so cold. The next day it can be super hot. So that's just Texas. That's how we roll here. And it's something that we have to deal with. And this is why I tell y'all we don't put our summer clothes away. We just bring our winter clothes out and uh yeah that's how we roll even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter maybe you taste different hold up hold up baby i can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Sit beside 
beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. So now we're going to go ahead and clean the messy bathroom. Um, I have makeup everywhere and just some dirty clothes over here on the floor. So I need to go ahead and clean this up. I don't know why, but I've been keeping the dirty clothes hamper in the washroom and the laundry room and I need to bring it back over here. I used to keep one in the kids bathroom and one over here. So I need to go do that again. It's just that I haven't even got them cleared out all the way. I've been trying to get caught up on everything but there's just like some sheets and even a tablecloth that I need to wash and they're just piled in there so I need to go get those out and clean them and so that way I can bring the hampers back in here so that way we don't have just dirty clothes on the floor but anyway right now I'm just going to go ahead and tidy up in here really quick and then we're going to do some more cleaning and I hope this is motivating y'all I am working on so many videos for y'all this next month so I hope y'all are ready for all that to show y'all this razor this is not sponsored intuition my husband picked it up for me the other day and it's like so such a cool razor it's like you're not even using a razor you're just rubbing this thing on your legs and I absolutely love it so I just wanted to show y'all that so if you go get a new razor I definitely recommend the intuition one I absolutely love that thing uh, fun fact I never ever ever use shaving cream I haven't used it probably since I was a kid. Um, I have very dry skin. Now I know that was also from my diet, but um, I always, I've always used conditioner to shave anything on me. And uh, I also don't have any hair on my arms or anywhere. I don't like any hair. Uh, but yeah, that razor was so cool. I don't even think you would need conditioner or shaving cream because it has um, some of the... Um, stuff on it to make it smoother and easy when you shave like a, I can't I don't know what it's called like a film over it with like some kind of product and anyway it, it was phenomenal the way the razor worked on my skin so like I said definitely recommending that so I'm gonna go ahead and just tidy up over here a little bit we're gonna keep cleaning as y'all can see this was the next day because we had more dramas if you will uh, the car, my husband, I stayed home with the boys for karate because, uh, JC wasn't feeling so good. So, um, I was going to spend the nights working while my husband took my daughter to karate. And then I get a call that the car has broke down and I have to go load the boys up, go into town and get him and her. Uh, so we, <laughs> We had to leave the house, so the next day I started filming everything again. Um, I was just washing my shoes right there. I don't know if y'all know that trick, but OxyClean is such a good cleaner, especially if you um, have shoes or anything. You just let it soak. I let my shoes soak overnight usually, and they look brand new. So the next day, once I get them cleaned up, I put them in the uh, washer, and then I just let them dry, and they're like new again. I'm very frugal. I have kids. We have a teenage daughter. I am not out going on shopping sprees or anything like that. And so, you know, it happens. Uh, the, the car though, uh, back to that, the car broke down. It was the alternator and it, it was like my plans of, uh, replacing the floor this month were thrown out the window with that. Uh, so yeah, it, it's crazy it happens. We just have to bite it every now and then. And like all of our vehicles are paid for. We are very firm on not having a payment with vehicles. It's just that's stressful to me. Um, having a big payment every month. If it's little payments, I don't mind. But huge payments that you have to come up with every month, I'm not a fan of. So I love, I, we just have old vehicles and they're paid for. Um, and they're really, really good vehicles. They're very good to us. But uh, one's for gas saving. It's a um, 
a tiny car and then we have a big truck and that one's for when we do family stuff and you know travel or whatever but yeah uh, it, it just it happened and so that kind of my plans on doing the bedroom floors in our room kind of went out the window with the car breaking down this month but I'm so I'm just grateful that we were able to get the car fixed and it wasn't too big of a deal um, but yeah now I have to try to budget in and budget in the floors for another month but that's okay like I said I am so we're so blessed we we really really are and it's not something to complain about it's just kind of funny to look back and be like well you know you cannot plan everything out it's never going to go the way you want it to go you just got to go with it so I'm going to go ahead and clean the kids bathroom really quick I needed to scrub this shower down it had been a while since I cleaned the shower in here so I needed to get that all taken care of are just about done in here I'm gonna go ahead and finish up I'm gonna clean the rest of the bathroom I'm gonna clean the floors and all that stuff we're also going to head over and clean the boys room really quick it wasn't too bad right now it is <laughs> after having all the kids here and everything um, definitely need to clean that room but um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that as well we're just about done and then I will show y'all all the afters <laughs>
myself. So now I'm finally going to go ahead and pressure wash the rug. I didn't get a chance to pressure wash it when I first initially took it out. So now I can finally do that. And it turned out really, really, really good. It's another thing that I use the OxyClean on. So I sprayed it down, got it wet, and then I went ahead and took the OxyClean and just sprinkled it on there. I let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I went back and, well, no, I wet it again and then I let it sit for 10 minutes and then I went back and sprayed the heck out of it. Got really close, like got everything up and out of it and it looks so much better now. So right now it is still drying just a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and bring it in tomorrow along with the couch and I'm so excited for that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just pressure wash this rug, let y'all enjoy that. I know a lot of you love pressure washing and things of that nature. And then, uh, yeah, that's going to be about it for today's video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope it got you motivated. And like I said before, if you're new, please subscribe. I see a lot of people that watch aren't subscribed. A lot of people keep coming back, but y'all aren't subscribed. And it just really helps my channel out. If y'all do, just go ahead and press that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. And as always, comment down below and let me know how you're doing. I will talk to you on the next one. I love you all so, so much and take care of each other. Bye guys. Would you Till my lungs give out your beauty
Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful We'll get away This is what we waited for 